there is something called Systat in C. Where people are using it as in par with I find that it is a helpful marker. Hi everybody and welcome to the Kidney Coach YouTube channel. I'm naturopathic Dr. Fiona Chin, co-founder of Kidney Coach and Kygenesis. And I'm joined again today by the amazing Jessiana Seville, who is the founder and primary practitioner at Kidney Nutritional Institute. I'm going to hand it straight across to you to let's get into it. Let's talk all things diagnostic tests when it comes to chronic kidney disease. So let's talk about getting a diagnosis of kidney disease in the current medical environment. What does that look like? Now, there's two, uh, there's actually, what did I say, six areas that a diagnosis can come from. One is the urine. One is the serum. Another is the genetics. Another is the biopsy. And I feel like I'm missing one more in there. Nope, that's it. Those are the main ones. I guess there's four. Um, all of these can play in in different ways to a diagnosis. The other one that is being used more and more, and it's kind of used comparably to GFR, is something called Cystat and C. Mm. Right, definitely want to dive into this one because it is very new. We know I've seen a couple of readings in Australia where it's done, where people are using it as in par with EGFR or GFR, but it's 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 not a commonly one that's checked now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not standard. Like G, GFR is a standard panel. Like you get a renal panel, GFR is on there. So statin C is usually specially requested. I find that it is a helpful marker. It's similar to GFR that's going to measure, you know, about what your kidney function is. Um, it's cystatin C is a protein that is produced by cells in your body. And when your when your body's functioning, when your kidneys are functioning well, that level stays very normal. And when they're they're not, you'll start to see it decline a little bit. Um, so with cystatin C. I will see big discrepancies, especially with people who have muscle mass. So if they have a lot of muscle mass, like a, maybe a young male lifts weights, like does heavy weight lifting, his GFR would look so much lower than a cystatin C because he has a lot more muscle mass. He's got a lot more creatinine waste versus cystatin C is measuring something totally different. Um, so it can be really great to have that as a marker. Uh, we work with like men who've got muscle mass and I find that that cystatin C is a really nice measure for them to put as a marker versus GFR because yeah. it tends to tell me a better story really of how they're doing. And if you're late stage, I mean, it's a big difference if it's like, hey, my GFR is 10, but my cystatin C is 30, <laughs> that, would, that would be like a, a huge difference yeah. in your decision point, your mindset, everything. So um, I think cystatin C is good. It is generally, but this is controversial, generally accepted that it's a more accurate than GFR. If you want to know more about what we do, head to kidneycoach.com and we're on all your social media platforms, whatever the social media platform is, forward slash kidneycoach, you'll generally find us. Make sure you hit subscribe and like so this helps our little YouTube algorithms and that means you'll get notified anytime we put up new videos. Yes, thanks again. I really appreciate you and we'll talk to you all next time. Bye. Bye-bye.